All right, we homeschool from the state of Georgia. And Georgia is one of the states that has not so strict requirements on homeschooling. Um, I went to the HSLDA website and found the requirements for homeschooling in Georgia to make sure that I could meet them when I decided to homeschool. And for those of you in other states, I'll post the link below to that website. You can find your state and your state requirements on that site and make sure that you meet them. Um, as I stated in the other video, some states have almost no restriction on homeschooling. Some states are very strict. They have very specific requirements that you have to meet in order to homeschool your kids. Um, I am going to talk about the state of Georgia because that's where I live. The first requirement for homeschooling in the state of Georgia is that you must have a high school diploma, GED, or higher education. Um, I actually have a bachelor's degree in education, so this was definitely a non-issue for me. As long as you have a homeschool, or a, excuse me, as long as you have a high school diploma, or GED, you can teach your kid homeschooling in Georgia. Obviously, if you have a higher education, that's great. But don't let not having a college degree stop you from homeschooling your kids. There is so much out there that will help you. Don't feel like you don't have enough education just because you don't have a college degree. Um, again, not an issue for me. The second thing you have to do is submit a declaration of intent. This basically tells the government that you are planning on schooling your kids yourself. This is filed with your local school board. I actually did it online um, through the Department of Education. I will try and post that link below in the comments as well so that you guys have access to that. It took me like five minutes, tops maybe, um, really simple. Once you file, it gives you an option to print out a copy of your declaration. Do that. Keep that file with your school records. You probably won't need it, but better safe than sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read the list that I printed out. The third requirement, in the state of Georgia, you must provide a, at least 180 days and each day must consist of at least four and a half hours. Um, obviously, if you do more than 180 days, you can shorten that time. If you do, you know, longer days, as far as the hours go, you won't have to complete as many. You, you get the idea, 180 days, four and a half hours. That is basically the model that we follow. Um, required subjects. You are required to teach reading, language arts, mathematics, social studies, and science. We are covering those in our homeschool. We are also covering electives like music, art, and French, um, tech, home ec. Um, as long as you are covering the required subjects, you can teach your kid anything else you want to teach them. Annual progress reports. At the end of the year, you need to write a report on how your kid did during the year. If you keep grades, if you keep test scores, um, keep all of that in one place. If you guys have seen my Erin Condren video, you know that I have an Erin Condren teacher's planner. It's a really great 
place for me to keep their immunization records, my declaration of intent. Um, I printed out the test we did to figure out what their learning style was. Um, I'll do a video about learning styles later. Uh, all of the curriculum that I purchased for the year, I have records of that in my folder. In my teacher's planner, everything is in one spot. So at the end of this year, when I do their progress reports, those will go in the binder, everything will be kept in one spot, and it will go into storage on my shelf. Um, in the state of Georgia, compulsory education, you have to teach from age 6 to age 16. They have to be schooled age 6 to age 16. Um, this means that my littlest one technically does not have to be in school. Um, he's schooling because I'm busy schooling the older kids and he wants to school with us, but he's not required to yet. Um, this also means that once you hit the age of 16, you can graduate. You can take your GED, you can move on, um, you have to test in 3rd, 6th, ninth, and 12th in the state of Georgia. These tests can be the Iowa Basics, the CAT tests, um, any of those standardized tests that cover English, Math, Science, Social Studies. Um, the other requirements for the state are simply keeping records, and I mentioned that about my Erin Condren planner, keeping everything in one location. That way, if someone does question your homeschool, you have those records available. Um, I personally don't know anybody that's ever gotten in trouble homeschooling, but it does happen. So again, better safe than sorry, have those records somewhere safe where you can access them, have the test scores someplace safe where you can access them. Um, those are the only requirements for the state of Georgia. Again, if you don't live in the state of Georgia, check out the requirements for your state. Make sure that you are doing it by the book. Make sure you're not going to have any problems. It's really not that scary, not that hard. Um, I know some states have more restriction, so again, make sure you check for your state. 